Today is the 7th of November. It's, I don't know, 130, 140, something in the afternoon. We're at Rock Cut State Park. I'm going to go in here at the, uh, I don't know what the heck this is. It's just south of the dam. Somebody went to the trouble to bring a pumpkin down here to smash. Well, we came down that set of steps. There's two landings. There's 10, 11, and then 15 steps going down. I don't know how many over here. I'll count them going up. Nine to the first landing and then 56 up to the top. Well, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is deer hunting. It's a handicap deer hunting, so they put up these blinds for the uh, handicapped hunters and their helpers to come out and hope the deer are dumb enough to get close enough so they can shoot them. Well, we're at the old quarry. Right next to the old quarry is this, what the GPS map calls an intermittent creek. We've seen it with water in it a few times. Right now it's pretty much dry. The, up above the intermittent creek, there's a sort of a goat trail. I don't know if it's a real trail or what. It looks like it might have been at one time. It might still be. There's a lot of these that aren't on the map. There's kind of a little valley there. Wow, that little ridge line is not a lot of fun to try and get down on. There's a kind of a gully here that would probably be easier. We're gonna go over here. Goes over to this intermittent creek and just kind of stops. I think you could get down that way a little bit farther, but this is where the creek is, such as it is. There's a little water there. Let's see if we can get back. Looks like you can get up here without too much trouble. I don't know if you can get back down though. It'd be a lot harder to get down than back up. Get down here over by the, the little creek up at the top of the hill is Harlem Road, so it's quite a bit down here a ways. I don't know, maybe 30, 40 feet. This is the ridge line we were I was a little nervous about. We walked down this gully instead. At this end you can get out pretty easily. Looks like a fair number of people have walked this way. The trail that goes over that way. I don't know where exactly it ends up at. Hold on, Creaky. I'm not going to go up there because I don't know that I can get back down very easily. Well, we could see part of this little pond from the, where we were at before, we couldn't really get to it. And we could see those sandstone bluffs over there. I've seen this from the other side. I started to walk up on a goat trail that's on those, up on top of that cliff there, but after a while I realized I didn't really want to walk that close to the cliff, so I gave up on it, particularly with a beagle. But you can see, Kind of a little meadow down there. I think if I really tried hard enough, I could get out there from down below. Now this is the trail that goes along that bluff, on the top of the bluff. If I didn't have Wilma, I might try it, but <laughs> I don't want to try it with her. Another hunting blind. I don't know if I'd want to hunt here. That'd be a lot of work to get a deer back up here if you managed to get one. There's some kind of a concrete structure that was here at one time. This, I think this is kind of where the 
old park offices used to be. Because this is the old end of the park. If I could easily get down to this, I would try walking upstream along this dry creek bed to see where it where it goes, because there's water at the dam side, and there's no water down here, so I wonder where it goes. Oh, well, we ran across a guy out hiking, and a guy walking his dog, and a bicyclist. More dry creek. This is the next bridge coming up the Willow Creek path. Yeah, more dry creek bed. Well, we almost found some water. It doesn't look to me like it's flowing. Might just have been captured here. You can see downstream, it looks like it's completely dry. Although it's hard for me to see. Looks like you could walk across here. I think we've been over there in that little kind of a, not really an island, but. Now this is the bottom of the spillway. There's one that went out in the water. Let's see if I can pick my way across. Shouldn't be too hard. And there's the mud beagle. <laughs> water coming over the spillway, but I can hear water coming over this gate. They're coming down through the gate in the middle of the dam. Can't be very much. See just a little bit of water flowing in the creek there. Now this is up the hill from the bottom of the dam and off to the left there is the parking lot where we parked at.